Retinal vein occlusions can be associated with high blood pressure, so it is very important that your blood pressure is checked and it is also worth having a blood test to make sure that your blood sugar and blood fat or cholesterol are not too high and that the blood is not too thick or too thin. Many vein occlusions result in leakage from small blood vessels called capillaries and this results in waterlogging and thickening of the retina. This often occurs in the central part of the retina or macula and is sometimes called macular edema and results in blurring of vision. There are several treatments available for this edema in the central macula. Laser has been used to seal the leaky blood vessels but it has mainly been used in the past as it is a destructive process destroying tissue and is now less frequently used. Leakage from the blood vessels is also associated with a degree of inflammation and steroids are effective in reducing inflammation. Most people who need steroids to reduce inflammation elsewhere in the body need to take them in tablet form and unfortunately there are a very large number of side effects when taking steroid tablets. Inflammation in the eye however can be treated by a local injection of steroid in or around the eye without the associated side effects of having to take steroid tablets. There are now slow release steroid capsules that are injected into the main eye cavity called the vitreous cavity that slowly dissolve over a period of many months and therefore ensures treatment of inflammation over sometimes three to four months. These injections are given as an outpatient or day case procedure with a local anaesthetic given before the injection around the eye. The, only, the injection only takes a few seconds to perform and usually the steroid starts dissolving quickly and drying up the retina within a week or two. And most patients will notice an improvement in vision as the swelling reduces. Any injection in the eye carries a one in a thousand risk of infection. Uh, and this includes the steroid injection. There is also a risk that the pressure in the eye can increase following steroid injections, but usually this is a temporary phenomenon and can be treated adequately by drops alone. It should however be used with caution if you already have severe glaucoma. Multiple steroid injections, and usually this means more than three, will result in cataract formation, but again this can be successfully treated with surgery. Leakage from these blood vessels can also be treated with the anti-VEGF agents which have been used extensively for a different condition called wet macular degeneration but they also dry up leaky blood vessels in vein occlusions and also in diabetes. These injections need to be given more frequently than the slow release steroid but they have less uh, side effects in relation to cataract formation and glaucoma and they can be useful in younger patients or if you have severe glaucoma. They are usually given once a month for a three month period and then top up injections are needed for a variable length of time and in some patients they may need top up injections to be continued almost indefinitely. Patients who develop severe central retinal vein occlusions can develop a rare but serious complication of the condition called rebiotic or thrombotic glaucoma. In this situation there is very poor circulation to the retina and it results in new blood vessels forming but this time on the surface of the iris, the coloured bit of tissue at the front of the eye, which gives the eye its normal colour. These abnormal blood vessels are associated with some scar tissue and the scar tissue blocks a circulation of a clear fluid called aqueous at the front of the eye, which is responsible for the, keeping the pressure in the eye at a certain level. The aqueous cannot flow out of the eye so well, but it is still being produced and as a result of this, pressure in the eye suddenly becomes very high and the eye becomes very red and painful and the vision blurs even, even further. If you're at a high risk of getting rubiotic glaucoma, then urgent and extensive laser treatment to the retina is needed to prevent this particular complication from occurring. This laser treatment is called pan-retinal photocoagulation, or PRP for short, and it's often easier to give a local anaesthetic injection prior to this sort of laser due to the extensive nature of the laser that is required to treat this. The treatment is primarily to prevent the eye becoming uncomfortable, but unfortunately does not improve the vision. Mm -hmm.